Avocados are an important crop for around 40,000 smallholder farmers in Kenya. Unfortunately, many farmers have been struggling with trees that are very old and overgrown, producing poor yields, resulting in lower incomes for the farmer. But now there's hope, and approximately 1,200 family-owned smallholder farms in the Kenyan Central Highlands are part of a transformational project aiming to significantly increase their income from avocados. The project, funded by the New Zealand Aid Programme, is working alongside Olivado, a New Zealand avocado oil company that eight years ago started up a processing plant in the Kenyan Highlands to utilise a supply of organic avocados. Plant and Food Research is a world-leading biological sciences company with extensive knowledge in all aspects of avocado production. They have been contracted to work with the local farmers to find long-term solutions to boost their productivity and incomes. The farms are often around only one hectare in size, with around 24 trees. So the priority for the project is to utilise this space more efficiently while also conserving resources, especially water. Soil water monitoring in the highlands of Kenya have identified two periods of drought. One in September-October prior to the arrival of the short rains when the trees are flowering, and another one in February-March prior to the arrival of the long rains when the trees are filling fruit. So we've identified pruning, reducing the leaf area of the trees can help that and thereby reducing the water use of those trees. And a second tactic we've developed is to use bottles, recycled 20 litre drinking water bottles and put a pin prick in the bottom. And in this way we can supply water to the tree at 4 litres an hour over a period of about 5 hours. And that will enable the trees to reduce the severe impacts of the drought. The soils in this region are quite poor in terms of their fertility, but we have found we can take the carbon from the manure of the cows, mix it with the food source that the cows haven't eaten, and make a compost and add it to the soil. In this way we can improve the soil's fertility, and also we can raise the soil's pH by making it less acid. Other work to improve production systems includes an extensive planting program based on high health plants, and the introduction of new pruning techniques to improve fruit yield and quality. This is supported by a training and extension program to ensure farmers understand and can take up the new technologies. Farmers are already seeing for themselves the benefits of the new systems. I have seen my fruits are producing so many fruits and they also come here and give me technical artifices of how to prune, plant, and uh, weeding. Yes, uh, they, they have equipment here, and they are trying to make research, to do a research work on the, the plants and to prove the, 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 the trees we have. And uh, they are also helping us a great deal because we were able to improve our farm, the, the productivity, how to uh, make a good yield of our, of, our, of our fruits. And we are very happy about it. Since the opening of the avocado processing plant, Olivado agronomists could see a significant benefit for the farmers if they could find new methods to improve their farming practices. They do things just because they found them being done. So this is a more organised approach which needs to be transferred to, other, to the whole industry. I have enjoyed there at working with all the people involved in this project. Each of them has something to offer and it has been great to work with these great minds. One of the keys to the long-term sustainable success of this program is the use of MFAT's public-private partnership funding model. Together with our partner, Olivado, we're working to improve the productivity and the quality of the avocado production. We're hoping we'll really be able to make an impact on the lives of the avocado smallholder farmers in Kenya. The other key to success of this program is our ability to disseminate the learnings from the program to the wider horticultural industry in Kenya. Uh, Major is to see the knowledge transfer from the very experienced scientists to our young agronomists. There is a lot of excitement in that. And we'll have an industry that is more focused, that uh, also embraces the idea of researching, not just adopting things from whoever brings them. So it's changing the culture. You must understand what, you, what you're doing and why, for what reason. You must put your money where you expect 
a certain income. So this is a whole change of the game in this industry. The project finishes in late 2018, and in that time, there will be not only some significant gains for the avocado farmers, but also the whole industry, and ultimately, all in the community.